Hey everybody, welcome to another video. I have something that I'm very excited to show you and it is this little guy right here. This is the Eashin Lizard 105S. This is a pre-production model that Eashin sent me, so thank you Eashin, I really appreciate that. In fact, you're the first company that has sent me anything, so that's pretty special, you make me feel special. All right, anyway, um, so I'm excited about this because this is my first uh, two inch sized quad, it's actually like 2.4 inches, but anyway, micro brushless quad. I've actually been wanting to build one very similar to this, the same style, so I'm very excited that they sent this to me. Um, anyway, I haven't had the quad for very long, but I was so excited, I want to show you, I want to give you a better look at it, and then just kind of give you some of my impressions of it, just my first impressions, and what the flight footage looks like, some of the things I like about it, some of the things I don't, and then I want to hear from you to, uh, I want you to comment below any questions that you have or what you think of this particular quadcopter. And also for you more experienced people, uh, I've been having some uh, oscillation problems here. So if you have experience with tuning um, these little micro brushless quads, please give me some suggestions and you'll see, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about in the flight footage. All right, well, let's get into it. In the interest of time, and since this is not a full review, I'm just going to hit some of the highlights, and there are many, many, many more things that I would like to talk about, but I'm going to save that for other videos. Also, any problems that I mention in this uh, particular video may have been solved, since this is a pre-production model, may have been fixed um, if you're watching this months from when the video was posted. All right, so some of the positive things. This thing is flyable right out of the box. I'm gonna zoom in here and get some close-ups and let you just kind of look at that. Also, moving it uh, every now and then. So this thing is flyable right out of the box. Uh, with, if you, you just have to set up your transmitter and they actually do provide really good instructions for that. I was surprised, much better than I thought. Also, they provide uh, really good specs uh, in the manual, which you can get on their on the Eashin website, but I'm actually just going to leave a link in the description below so you can check out all the specs. I'm not going to go through them in this video. One of the coolest things about this little guy is that it actually records HD video in a with a uh, onboard DVR. So there's a little spot right here where you can put an SD card. It does not come with one, but there's a little SD card right there and you can record HD video. The HD video is it's b much better than what you're gonna get with the goggle DVR, but it's nowhere near a GoPro, so just keep that in mind, but you'll see the flight footage. Um, I really like this antenna, this little VTX antenna. I'm, I'm gonna pronounce that as Uzi, because I think that sounds cool, uh, but it's very small, very well protected. I like it much more than the uh, Omway open cloverleaf type idea. Speaking of antennas, I put some heat shrink tubing on this antenna because I felt like the antennas could easily get uh, sucked into the propellers if you hit a branch or something like that. So on this side, I just put some tape just to show you what you might do if you don't have heat shrink tubing. The flight handling overall was just was really good, I think. I mean, again, this is the first uh, two 2.4 inch quad, you know, micro brushless quad that I have flown. So I don't really have anything to compare it to uh, in, in that same size range, but I felt like it, it flew very well. The rates are not, the, the, the pre-programmed rates are not the ones that I fly. They are flyable, but um, probably not for a beginner wouldn't be the best. But anyway, so it felt smooth, but some of that um, uh, just took some getting used to be just because of the pre-programmed rates, but I feel like it was pretty good, really. So I flew this most of the time on a three cell, which I feel like was plenty powerful, really good cruising around. I did fly it on a two cell. You can fly it on a two cell, which I think would be great for a beginner. And then you can also fly it on a four cell if you really want to uh, rip around and get a lot of crazy speed. But on all of them, it's really fun to fly. Just this thing is just absolutely super fun for flying in the backyard. It actually had a pretty long flight time of around five minutes. I was using a an 850 milliamp hour three cell battery and I could get probably easily five minute flight time, just kind of cruise. And finally, one of the biggest things that stood out to me is just that it's really good handling, great for small spaces because it is so small. And just a couple of negative things that I did kind of notice. Uh, well, one was just that the arms, I think like, yeah, like the arms are actually kind of movable. Like there is some play in the arms. Um, I think particularly these two arms, which is kind of weird. It's not really a problem. The, there's plenty of space between the, the props and the frame, uh, but it's just kind of strange that it sort of bends in and out 
on the arms. So I thought that was a little odd. Another thing was the buzzer LED board right here. And this uh, this little guy, there's a little buzzer. Where's the buzzer? There's the buzzer. The buzzer that is supposed to go on the back of this little board. It's supposed to sit right there and it beeps, which is cool because then if you lose your quad in the bushes, you can flip the buzzer switch and then it will start beeping. But um, it got damaged because the propeller, or because this whole board is just stuck on with like little sticky foam, sticky tape stuff like that. And it was actually moved higher up. So um, I, I, actually, I moved it as low as it is now. But anyway, it was too close to the propeller and the propeller actually struck the, uh, the LED right there, kind of the corner. And then it ended up damaging the buzzer. So it just needs to be secured uh, better, I think. And just a few things worth noting. The HD uh, DVR on off button, which is this little guy right here. And the reason why I mention this, mention this is because I'm pretty sure a lot of other uh, quads probably use a, something similar to this. There's a little button right here and you press it to stop and to start and stop the, uh, there we go, the uh, HD recording. So you have to make sure that you press the stop button to stop recording after your flight before you unplug the quad battery otherwise you will lose your video footage which I realize but on the plus side it does start recording automatically so that is cool and here's the bottom of the frame pretty interesting uh, design there overall I think it's a really neat clean very small compact build that's what I'm excited about is that this thing there's there really are quite a few features in it that um, that you know I'm still I'm still figuring out everything and kind of played around with it but it, uh, it seems like it's, it's well put together with some good quality components. Now let's go to some flight footage. Well, so the camera, I'm getting just a few twitches of, of fuzz in the uh, reception. The camera is okay. It gets a little washed out on the, like on the white thing, like the white chicken coop and the roofs of things pretty good it does kind of feel it feels best way I can describe it is that it feels like kind of digital um, it kind of feels like there's like a almost like a lag on it or like something there yeah, I'm getting a little fuzzy out behind the chicken coop I think it's because of all that metal wire um, on the, the fencing on the chicken coop area So it's pretty smooth, um, but I, I don't really want to do any rolls or anything because it, the roll rate is way too fast. Alright, so I gotta say it feels a little, um, well the, the feel of it is okay, I feel like I'm going kind of fast actually, but um, the camera is pretty good. It's when the light is kind of harsh like this, it's hard to distinguish features and stuff seems to get kind of uh, washed out. So, yeah, I feel like when I move quickly, and, and like I move kind of to the side, like the turning. Yeah, it feels like there's some definite, some kind of processing going on that, maybe it's not lag, but it just, it looks weird. It kind of, it, it, yeah, it's kind of strange. It kind of throws me off. Uh, let's see if I can get some oscillations going here. Yeah, like that. still fun to, I mean, it's still really fun to fly around. You can definitely fly around. It's just the punch out oscillations are um, kind of intense. It's 
But what's nice about the little tiny size of this thing is that you can really, you can change direction quite fast. It's quite maneuverable. So that is nice. All right, so. Thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to comment below any questions that you have so that, so that I can address those in the next video with this little guy. I'm very excited about this, so stay tuned. Woo!